This is a look at putting text along a path in GIMP 2.8. And uh, first thing we've got to do is make a canvas. And I'm going to add some guides. I've already got a horizontal one. I want a vertical one. Next thing is just to check in the view menu and make sure we're on Snap to Guides there. It helps. And also essential is a new working layer. Don't work on your background. Add a new transparent layer. Now then, into the elliptical select tool, that one. And I'm going to check expand from center and a fixed aspect ratio. It's already on one to one there. So we should get a proper circle when we click on the intersection of the guides and drag. When you've got it where you want it, we can go. I'm just going to add a, not necessary for you, but I'm going to add a little notch for a demonstration later on on flipping the path. So now we've got to put this into a path. And it's uh, there in the select menu to path. We look in our path dialog. Turn off the selection. There you can see our circular path. Now we need some text. And I've already selected a font and a size. And I'm just going to click in the canvas and start typing. Now then, the important thing here is do all your text editing now in the text dialog because once you put it onto a path it's fixed forevermore. So for example I'm going to adjust the letter spacing here a little bit to allow for it going onto a path and making use of the nice new GIMP 2.8 text tool here. I'm going to tweak some of the letters Again, just, just to reiterate, make sure you do your tweaking now or you'll have to come back to it and do it again. So that's my finished text. Several ways you can put text on a path. Right click in the text dialog. Uh, right click in the on screen text dialog or in the layer menu text along path, which is the one I'm going to use. So there's our text along a path. Now it's in the wrong place. I need to rotate it. So there's the rotate tool. There we are. And the important bit in this rotate tool is the mode. We need to be in the paths mode. That's the Last icon of the three there. And we need to be on the path. You can see we're on a... Need to be on the correct path. Click in the canvas and we can spin it round. Use a little bit of judgment when we're happy with it, rotate it. So there's our first text at the top of our circle. Next one, I want some text at the bottom of the circle, but I want it to be in the correct orientation. And to do this, I need to, I need to flip the path. That's that tool. Again, we've got our three options there, and I need to be on the paths option. And I need to be vertical as well. It's horizontal or vertical. Make sure we're on vertical. Now, and you can see, when I click in the canvas, you wouldn't see anything if that notch wasn't there but the path has flipped over now we can go and add some text it doesn't have to be the same font or size I've changed the font and size here for this little bit of text and again layers menu I'm just going to use this text along path there it is OK, 
can turn our text layer off. And again, I want to go into the Rotate tool. Same parameters as before. Make sure you're in the correct mode. Spin it round. There we are. That's the text at the bottom. Now, we'll just have a look at making some text horizontally. And it's quite often better to put the text in first here. So we can judge the length of the path. If we go to our Paths tool, and we'll just click somewhere near the start of the text and make a little bit of allowance a little bit past the text. Now if we click on the path and drag, we bring up these handles. Same as before, text along the path, we get that. Shows all the nodes, I'll go into the paint tool just so we can see our text. Now, it doesn't matter where the original text is or the path, we can move this anywhere we want. Same thing, we want to be on our paths option and we want to move the active path because we're on our support GIMP path. Click and drag and we can position this anywhere on the canvas we want. It's totally independent of the original path and the original text, so you can move it wherever you want it. Turning a few things off so we get an idea. What we're going to do now? Well, we've got to do a bit of painting because all we have are paths. So we can select a path. There's the text at the bottom. Easiest thing to do is make it a selection from the path and fill it with a foreground color. Turn the selection off, turn the path off, you can see we have a equivalent to our original text. Now then, again, path to selection, we have to do with this each time, turn the path into a selection. And this time, well, I'll do the same, I'll fill with a with a colour, I've changed the colour, turning back to black, I'm going to stroke the selection. We could stroke the path or the selection. Path's probably the best one, but I'll use the selection. And there's our stroke dialog. Choose a line width, stroke it, and we get that. Turn the selection off, turn the path off, there we are outline the text. Now then this one, something different again. Again, I'm going to put the path to a selection. There's the crawling ants showing it's a selection. And this time I'm going to... I've selected the uh, gradient tool there. I'll just put a little gradient across the selection, something like that, just a tiny little gradient. But if I maybe choose a nice bright colour and a big brush and the paint tool, reset the brush size, I can paint individual letters in like that. And that's quite a nice effect. So we'll turn that off. Turn that off and that off and that off. And there's our three sets of rendered text. Now I'll turn the selection off and I'll turn the guides off. Go into our layers menu. Remember everything's been rendered onto that original transparent layer. I've added another layer with some decoration just to add a bit of interest. 
Remember to save it as a GIMP file and that saves all your layers and texts and paths or you can export it as a PNG or a JPEG or a TIFF and you'll uh, just get a flattened image. So that's text along a path, GIMP 2.8.